Hi and welcome to this video. A while ago I made a video on how to disable the UAC uh, user account control uh, in Windows Vista and it will be in Windows 7 as well I think. So basically uh, the user account control, just uh, let me remind you what it is, it's this annoying, um, annoying box that comes up that asks, asks you to basically permission to continue and it's quite aggravating and, and, and I said to you we can actually delete this or uninstall it by actually going to the control panel and user user accounts and then disable it here like so and then reboot the machine take the tick out OK and reboot the machine after doing a bit of research on it obviously there is some uh, issues with that because you're going to be it's a big security issue where you're going to leave yourself wide open to malware and spyware and stuff like that by disabling it and I've had a little route about and had a little look about and obviously there is a way of actually disabling it without actually um, leaving yourself wide open and it's a program made by this person or this company and it's called Twig UAC and it does what it says there and you turn it off switch it to quiet mode which means uh, it will suppress the uh, elevation of prompts and leave it running so it's actually still on okay so I've downloaded that I'm going to have a little look at it for you. Let's just click on this. And basically, what we're going to do is switch it to uh, switch to quiet mode, like so. Click OK. It's now in quiet mode. And obviously, if I go to here now and type reg edit, we should go straight in and be able to open that without the, the little nag box. There you go. So basically, if we look into our control panel now, we should still see the tick enabled which means the account user account control is still switched on and that's absolutely fantastic because obviously now we haven't got to turn it off we can actually leave it on and not leave ourselves uh, in a sort of uh, security black hole where we can actually get viruses or malware of some sorts now there is another one which is made by Norton um, I know a lot of people don't like Norton but obviously they've made one as well and uh, I'm going to have a little look at that so let me just uh, turn this back on so we can have a look at the Norton. Okay, and this is an Norton one. Uh, let me just uh, show you. Come to this site here. I'll, I will put these links up, and you can actually download it. When you click on download, you put what country you're in. Basically, we'll just say this one for now. Go like that. Go next, and it asks you whether you want 64-bit or 32-bit. Okay. So I'm not going to download it because I've already got it. Click on this. Allow that. Agree to that. Click next and it's installing. Congratulations, you have installed Norton UAC tool. Okay, finished. So, so what does that mean? So let me just have a little look here. Reg edit and see what happens. Okay. So now what it's doing is it pops this box up. It's a little bit more graphic graphic user interface look to it. It's much more uh, fancy. But basically what what it's saying is uh don't ask me again and I can allow that okay so basically it will nag you and I think once I've done that once I don't think it's gonna do it again so it will still nag you for the first time and then after that it, it shouldn't nag you again there you go so it's up to you your choice is yours you either go with an autumn one where you get nagged once and actually put the command in to say don't bother me again it's a bit like a way a firewall works where you can actually allow it to go through and always remember my um, answer it's similar to that so the choice is yours really you can either go for this the other one or the actual normal one okay hope this has uh, been some use here my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you any questions leave a comment any requests for videos give us a shout and I'll do my best to make it for you thanks very much for watching bye for now